I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on circle. Now we will learn how to write equation of circle in standard form and how to convert the equation from general form to standard form. Here are three examples which will help us to understand the whole concept. Question number one. Find the equation of circle with center minus 1, 2 and radius 5. Question 2. Find equations of a circle with radius 4 that is tangent to the y-axis at 0, 3. Question number 3. Find area of circle x square plus y square plus 10x minus 4y plus 21 equals to 0. Now to begin with, Equation in standard form is given as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equal to r square. Now in this equation, the center of the circle is, let me say center of the circle is at h and k. And the radius is r. Correct. And when you write in this form, it is called standard equation of circle. Right. We also sometimes call it as center radius. as it gives you directly the value of the radius and also the center point of the circles. It's a very, very helpful equation. Now let us answer these questions. Question number one. It is straightforward. We need to write the equation of circle with the given center and the radius. So in this case, we know what center is. That is, the center is at minus 1, 2. That means h equal to minus 1 and k equals to 2. And also we are given the radius as 5. So we'll just substitute the value in the equation. We get x minus of minus becomes plus square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to the radius square which is 5 square. So that gives you the, the answer as x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to 25. So that is the solution of the very first question. The concept is very straightforward. Circle is set of points same distance from the center. So this is reminder of distance formula. Correct. So it has a relation with distance formula which straight away gives you the equation. Now let us see how to solve question number two. Find equations of a circle. So it could be more than one circle with radius four that is tangent to y axis at zero three. So let's try to understand the question. Now in this case, we are given that y axis is tangent to the circle and we are given the point also so let me make a circle here let us say this is the circle okay now it is given to us that this point here is is at three right so that is zero x and y and we also know that the radius is four we need to give equation of the tangent. Now, as you know, in standard form, I could write the equation as x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square. We know the radius. We know r is equal to 4, but we need to find h and k. That's the whole idea. 
Now, in case we have a tangent given, from there, can we find the center? Well, we are given the radius also. So, if I draw a horizontal line as shown here, in that case, for the circle, diameter is going to be 4, right? So, this point here will be at 4. So, obviously, right in the center, this point should be where? I mean, 8, right? So, diameter is twice the radius. So, this point should be at 4, correct? Since the radius is 4. Now, if x value is 4, y value is 3. So, we know that the center is at 4, 3. Does it make sense to you? Now, for that case, I could write down the equation of the circle as x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to the radius square, which is 4, right? So, 4 square. So, we could write this as x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to 16. So we get one of our equations. Now, can we have two equations? That is what you have to think about. With the given conditions, we could have this circle also in quadrant 2. How? Let's look into this circle. Okay, now here also we have tangent at a given point. Now, if I make this radius as 4, let us see, in that case, it also meets the criteria. So, this point will be now minus 4, correct? So, for the second circle, we get the center at minus 4, the y value remains at 3, and we have r equals to as given to us, we can again write down the equation in this form, which is x plus 4 this time, since it's on the left side, whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to 16. Does make sense to you? So that is how we get both the equations. Correct? So I hope this concept is clear. So with the given conditions, we could get two equations of circle. Now, let's move on to the last question, which is a very interesting question. Find area of the circle. Now, this form is called the general form of a circle. Now, we really can't say what the radius is and what is the center of the circle straight away. Right? There are ways half of this and half of this is related with the center point. Uh, but what we do here is we complete the squares. And convert this to standard form. In many test papers, that is the type of question which you expect from this unit on circles. So let us see how to complete the circles and write this equation in standard form. And then of course we can find the area. We know after that, area is pi r squared. So the idea is to get the radius, right? So let's begin with the equation, which is x squared plus y squared plus 10x minus 4y plus 21 equal to 0. Now, let's collect all the terms with x. So we have x squared plus 10x and also the terms with y. I'm leaving some gap here for you and then turns with y and I'll tell you why. So we have y squared minus 4y plus something. Now, to complete the squares, I hope this will remind you of a strategy. That is, you know what is a plus b whole square equals to? It is a square plus 2ab plus b square right so the if you want to make it a perfect square we have to have 2ab term so in this case we do have x square and 10x let us say this is twice b square so what is half of this 5 so we could add a term which is 5 square now when you add something since it is an equation 
you have to write it on the other side also so instead of zero i'll write five square on this side also so i'm adding five square on both the sides now you'll notice that with that introduction first three terms become perfect square now in the second case now this formula also works when we have negative here the only thing is we have minus 2ab so here we have minus 2ab think like this so this term is twice b what is half of it two we have to get square of that number two since i've added that i'll add this to the right side also to maintain the equation does it make some sense right so we add same terms so we add basically half of coefficient of uh, the terms x and y x and y right in short to both sides this is a very important strategy it's very similar to completing squares in quadratic equations to get the vertex right now these three terms could now be written as x plus 5 whole square and these three terms can also be written as a perfect square this time with my negative sign since this is negative y minus 2 whole square on the right we have 25 plus 4 which is 29 so that becomes equation of a circle right now from here from this equation let me rewrite this x plus 5 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equals to 29 okay let's write 29 so that is the equation of circle in standard form so what you learned just now is steps to write equation from general to standard form correct but what we need to find is the area of the circle correct we need to find area of the circle so let's get back to the question now area is pi r square now from this formula in standard form we know r square is 29 correct 29 is r square so what is the area for us so the area will be pi times 29 so so the exact area is 29 pi square units perfect so that is how such questions should be solved now let's calculate this so we'll do 29 times pi which is equal to in decimals 91 point let's say 90 approximately 91 it is 91.1 okay you may write one okay square units perfect so that is how this question can be solved so i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best